So we're talking about some of the particulars of music theory and keys that may confuse a lot of people. One of the things I think is confusing is we have a B sharp in some of the keys and we have an E sharp in some of the keys. Why would you use a B sharp instead of a C? And why would you use an E sharp instead of an F? Or why would you use an F double flat instead of an E flat? What are the answers to these questions? And if you understand theory, you would understand very clearly why this would be less confusing to use an F double flat or a B sharp and an E sharp. Less confusing, not more confusing. But if you don't know enough theory, it works the other way. So we're going to talk about some of these things and some of the other things about key signatures that seem a little confusing, but not confusing at all if you understand a little more about how keys are built. So a couple of facts you'll need to know before I go into the explanation of the B sharp and the E sharp, which are called enharmonics. An enharmonic is a note that has two names. It'd be an E sharp and an F. Same note, two different names. A B sharp and a C. Same note, different names. We're going to find out why this happens and the reason that it makes perfect sense for it to exist. So we have 15 keys. Now each key, each scale has seven alphabetical notes, which are the musical alphabet. Each one has an A, B, C, D, E, F, G, a unique letter name for seven notes. And every key and every scale has seven notes. Take the key of C sharp. C sharp has all sharps. C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B sharp. Now it would be most confusing if the C sharp scale, instead of using a B sharp, you use a C, and instead of using an E sharp, you use an F. Then you would have a scale that has two letter names that are the same. Now let's take the case of E sharp. Now if we used an F instead of an E sharp in the key of C sharp, it would look like this. C sharp, D sharp, F, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B sharp. Now notice we only have six unique letter names and one letter name is used twice. Now you can see the confusion. Okay, let's take another example of an enharmonic note that you might call it by a different name to make it easier for yourself. We're going to be in the key of D flat. There's five flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to flat the third. And the third would be the F, third note of the scale. D flat, E flat, F. Now that's the third note of the scale. Now you could call, you could flat the F and it would be D flat, E flat, F flat. Now there's your enharmonic. Why not call it an E instead of an F flat? I'll tell you why. Because everyone, musicians, are accustomed to intervals, and that will be the third degree. It will be D flat, E flat, F. So, in order to maintain the understanding that that is the third degree and call it a flat three in the key of D flat, you call it an F flat. This is just another piece of the puzzle to learn key signatures and music theory. I have a series I've been going on for now for six or eight months, Essential Bass Theory. I'll put a link up here, a playlist of videos you can check out, Circle of Fourths and Fifths and other things that can back it up. But I'd like to continue this, but the thing is, you can't learn it overnight. It takes time. And I think I'm going to start doing more frequent videos of a smaller size to put in just little bits of information that you can absorb in a small amount of time. Like this one, the enharmonics is an issue that I've had with all of my students. It's difficult to understand and myself as well in my beginning stages. And once you get past that, it's very important because it puts things into perspective on how uh, the structure of a scale and a key works. I am going to continue this. If you like this video series, please subscribe, hit the bell, give me a like, and please ask me some questions. Uh, you will inspire me to go into other areas to answer questions that students need answers to. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Keep studying.